Hello, Health Seeker, it's Chet the quick liberated lifestyle message. So I just finished up my morning run and I'm thinking about the process of change. As you guys know, this is something I think about a lot. And it's such an interesting subject because it's important to all of us. Virtually everyone I've met in my life is looking to go somewhere, is, is attempting to make something more of their life. Yet the process of change becomes a struggle for so many. It becomes an issue of battling yourself day in and day out. And what's, what I find so intriguing is that it doesn't have to be this way. And I've heard an, an amazing phrase recently, which is that if you want to see what a person wants, look at what they've got. Interesting, because there's, a, there's an, a law in the universe called the law of fair exchange, meaning that what you have is the result of um, all the actions that preceded it. And it's exactly um, in, in equal fairness to what you put in. So there's no mistakes. You have absolutely everything in your life right now because it serves you. It's because you wanted it and you created it on some level. And uh, the reason why I think change becomes so difficult for people is we, we forget to realize that actually we are really, truly where we want to be right now because our actions are largely subconscious. Our subconscious mind is driving it. So wherever we are is serving us. It's, it's exactly what we've, what we've desired in our mind and what we've created. So if you're not where you want to be and you've decided this isn't right for you and you, there's more for you, there's more out there, it first begins by recognizing the benefits of where you are. How does your current staying stuck, how does your current level of progress serve you? How does the pain benefit you? What's the gain in the pain? For example, if you're looking to improve your health, there's a reason why your health is low at the moment. There's a reason why you're suffering and it's a result of all the lifestyle choices that you've made, but they serve you. You make the choices on diet, you make the choices on exercise because they support your lifestyle in some way at the moment. They support the life that you want to lead. And the thought of then changing that becomes scary because we're comfortable where we are and we fear change and so we become stuck. And we create this phony struggle, really, of saying that we want something different, but really, subconsciously, we don't. We're right where we want to be. And it's across the board in your life. If you say you want a better job, why aren't you out there in a different job? It's because the current one serves you in some way. And you can go on and on and on through relationships, through spirituality, in every single area of your life. So, my question for you today is, where are you stuck? Anywhere in your life, in your health, in your fitness, in your relationships, in your spirituality, in your career. And how does this situation that you've currently got serve you? What are the benefits of you actually being right where you are? Because it's only by owning those benefits, only by seeing the truth of where you are, that you can then start to make the process of effortless change. And that's what it should be. It should be effortless. But the mind has got to conceive it first. So we've got to get out of this phony battle with ourselves. So just some thoughts for you on a sunny morning in Putney. Have a great day.